Hello friends, welcome to your favorite channel webs lesson. And this is Node.js tutorial series for beginners. And in this part, we will learn how to process form data in Node.js. In any web development, we need to create HTML form. And then after, we have to process HTML form data. So for this, in this part, we will show you how to submit form data in Node.js program. In this part, first I will show you how to create new directory for Node.js program. After this, I will show you how to download Node.js Express package. And here, I will use this package for process HTML form data. And this package, I will download by using npm registry. After this, I will create JavaScript file. And under this file, first I will create HTML form. And lastly, we will submit HTML form data. And one more things, we have put source code download link in the video description. Now let's start discussing this topic, so for this, we have go to command prompt, and here we need to create new directory. So first we have go to F drive, and under this, we need to go into node directory. So here, we need to write cd command with node directory name. Now we have go into node directory, and under this, we need to create form directory. So here we have to write make directory command, with directory name, form, so it will create new form directory. Now under this directory, we need to download node.js express package. So for this, here we have to write npm install express command. So here we can see that express package has been downloaded in form directory. Now we have go to text editor, and here we can see that form directory has been opened under this text editor. And under this directory, we can see that downloaded node modules. Now here, we want to create one JavaScript file. So here, we have create one JavaScript, and we have saved this file, with process.js file name. Now under this file, we have to write constant express variable is equal to require method, and under this, we have to write express module name. Here, it will import the top level function of express module. After this, below it, we have to write constant app variable is equal to express method, so this method will create an express application by using top level function. Now below this, we have to write app.use function. This function is used to mount the specified middleware function at the path which is being specified. And this function is mostly used to set up middleware for your application. Under this function, we have to write express.url encoded function. This function is a built-in middleware function in the express, and it parses incoming requests with URL encoded payloads, and it is based on the body parser. So this code will create middleware in this node application. Next below this, we have to write app.get function. So here this function routes the HTTP GET request to the path. So when browser load the page in the browser, then this function will be called. Under this function, first parameter, we have to define path. So here, we have to define root path, and in second parameter. We have to write callback function, with three parameter like request, response and next. So when page has been load in the browser, then this get function will be called. And at that time, we want to display simple HTML form. So for this, here we have to write, response.send function. So this function will basically send HTTP response to browser. And this function accepts a single parameter body, that describe the body. Which is to be sent in the response, so in body parameter. We have to define HTML form, which will be display on the web page. For create HTML form, first we have to write tilde sign, and between this, we have create HTML form. So first, here we have defined bootstrap 5 library, style sheet and JavaScript file link.
After this, we have to paste this bootstrap library, card content container code. Now here we have to create HTML form, so here we have to write HTML form tag. After this, we have to write, method is equal to post. And in action attribute, we have to write slash. Under this form for submit first name data, here we have to create one text box. With input type is equal to text, name is equal to first name, and it is equal to first name. After this, for submit last name data, here we have to create one more text box. So here we have to write, input type is equal to text, name and id attribute is equal to last name. Same for accept email address details, here we have create another text box. So here, we have to write, input type is equal to text, name and id attribute is equal to email address. Now for submit form data, here we have create one submit button. So here, we have to write, input type is equal to submit, name is equal to submit button. And in value attribute, we have to write add, so by click on this button, form data will be submitted. So here, our HTML form is ready, now for check output in browser. We have to define port number, so for this, here we have to write. app.listen function, and under this function, we have to write 2000. So in the browser, we can access this HTML form, on 2000 number of port. Now we have to check this output in the browser. So we have go to command prompt, and here we have to run node space file name command. Now we have go to browser, here we have to write, localhost, with 2000 port number. So here, on the web page, we can see that, simple HTML form has been displayed. Now we want to submit form data, so for this, we have go to JavaScript file. And here we have to write, app.post function. Here this function routes the HTTP POST request to the specified path with callback function. So this function will receive submitted form data. And under this function, in first parameter, we have to define path. So here, we have defined root path, and in second parameter. We have to write callback function with three argument, like request, response, and next. And under this function, we have to write, response.send function. And under this function, we have to write, request.body. So this request.body property contains the data in key and value pairs. So, from this request.body property, we can access form data in key and value pairs format. So here our code is ready, now we have saved this, and go to command prompt. And here, again we have to write, node command, with file name. After this, here in browser, we have to refresh this web page. Now one by one, I have filled this form with data. And after filling form with data, now we have click on the add button. So after click on the add button, here we can see that form data has been submitted, and here on web page. We can see that, submitted form data, in the JSON format. So this way, we can submit HTML form data in the node application. So in this tutorial, we have learned, how to process HTML form data in Node.js. In next part, we will learn, how to make MySQL database connection in node application. 
So we will be meet in next part and lastly thank you for watching this tutorial.